Shepard. Uh, Commander. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I'd like to. Believe me. But my people need me here. So what about Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the Dreadnought. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them, though individual ships captains still have power. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Barrickson. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Quirian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. 
Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? 
pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh, nothing. Shepard, there's a problem. All teams except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. I found 
another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Got it. You're clear to board. See any action? All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Thank you for having me over. Well, I don't actually know where I'm going. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. through a sensor cluster. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Solarians. Expensive. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. You okay? I will be. Thanks. defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? <sighs> no. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. The Dreadnought's operations center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. That 
That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. Let's get to the maintenance shaft before more reinforcements arrive. 